Hey guys, Maya again from eBay and Amazon Dropshipping and today I want to talk about the Vero listing As previous video, I have explained what a Vero listing is It's actually the verified rights on a program and if you guys have ever get banned or get flagged by eBay because of this reason it could lead to several, for example, like 3 days listing suspensions After that, you still have the violations for the Vero listing You will have the 7 days or maybe 10 days, 30 days restriction. So on this day, you cannot update or maybe list the new item. That is really, really important that you guys need to know what is actually the Vero listing is about and how you can avoid these problems will happen in the future. So just go with me until the end of the video because I will show you what is the easiest way and the cheapest way to deal with these problems. So let's get started. So we need to know is what is actually the verified rights owner programs. Is this owner programs allow the owners of intellectual property rights and their authorized representatives to report eBay listing that may infringe on the right. Vero embodies our commitment to provide easy place to buy and sell with respect the property owner rights. So it's actually um, belong to the copyright. So uh, some brands you cannot sell or maybe use the image or maybe the content of them to sell on your site. So for example, the Nike or Adidas brand is this really big brands for the clothing. And that's why you cannot just simply use that skits kind of image or maybe the name of the brand. And and to sell it on your site, that is so. It is against eBay policy, and the Vero listing is also is under control of the eBay. So that's why, um, if you get caught, they will lead to say several problems. For example, the SEO rank will be lower, or maybe it's in the third result, it also doesn't show up that much. Uh, maybe it's just not good news for everybody of us that maybe you are dropshipper, or maybe you just are the reseller, or maybe you just a normal seller on the eBay platform. So for example, in a trademark infringement, the trademark is unique size, such as for her name, the word phrase, logo and symbol that the company uses to identify its products or services. For example, eBay, the name of the car company that is also trademark used on the side in the various eBay products. It is illegal to sell counterfeit fake or replicas of brand name items. We don't allow this item to sell on eBay. So eBay will really scare if you use some kind of fake item or maybe a counterfeit item. You can sell some kind of brand but uh, with their permission. We need to mention that brand name is sure. You may not use brand name in your listing if the product isn't manufactured by a company or that brand. You may be so for example, a genetic case made for iPhone use brand name the Apple or maybe listing an Azida shoe and adding a brand name Nike or anything like logo for warranty and copyright infringement image and take eBay nowadays is more stricter than ever so you also need to take care of that for the copyright infringement and image and text so what will happen if you have more than one violations so the first one they will send you the email and you can get three days listing violations that means in three days you cannot update or maybe list any new item it will affect a little bit on your SEO rank or maybe the search visibility so eBay will not ban you 100%. They will give you some time to improve or maybe to solve these problems and to avoid that will happen in the future. And what will happen if you have more than one violation? They said seller who continue to violate intellectual property rights may be subject to a range of the consequences from the selling restrictions to full suspension from the site. So from the eBay, the eBay will ban you for seven days straight, or maybe ten days, or maybe thirty days. And your account is under the risk of from seven day, maybe ten days, or maybe thirty days violations. It's up to how big you are. Is. And how can I prevent it will happen to my account and what is the easiest way to do it? I will put the Vero participants profiles and I want to see all the listing that's contained in the Vero listing and I want to see Vero listing. So first of all, 
you need to open the public eBay battle list. The link I will leave in the description and you guys can check for yourself. It is actually the list that eBay will mention that's which brands you cannot use to sell on your site. Moving on to the second step, you need to copy the brand names, which kind of brand names you want to sell on your eBay and just copy it and use a files feature. That is actually really easy on your keyboard. I'm using Mac right now so you can press the command and F together and the files feature will appear on your computer. From there, you can paste the brand name that you want to looking for. If they appear on the list, though, it means you cannot sell this item. And if it do not show up, this means you can easily sell it on your eBay account. And I want to see what is brand name on the list from eBay. So you just click on the Vero participants profile from A to Z. So the brand name uh, will will not use this kind of name or maybe brand name on your listing that you need. This is really really a lot of a brand name that we need to take care of. And uh, the next time, if you want to sell anything to related to the company or maybe the copyright owner, you need to know uh, what kind of listing you want to sell and uh, maybe you are not allowed to sell it on your site. So for example, I want to see for example, I want to see the listing is actually is allowed to sell on eBay. I will click on the W toys. Uh, WL toys is actually the names of the brand and come back. You just click on using I'm using Mac right now, so I just put comma F and I just put the brand name. I paid this brand name on this box and I don't see any changes. Um, you click on search and I don't see any changes. And this means with that brand you can allow to sell on your site. So I will see another example. The Horizon Hobby E flight and I want to see the name and I will click on this and here we go does appear that Horizon Hobby and LC that is a brand name of the company for this kind of thing I don't want to sell on my side because it's really risk um, you can see the person don't get any sale until yet and they just have 14 watcher um, there's actually a lot of people still interesting in that kind of products but because it's brand name and it's belong to the Vero listing so I definitely not recommend you guys to list this item in your site so that is the cheapest way to do not every single seller as dropshipper they want to list item manually and some of them they want to list as much as possible so that's why they want to list the item in bug but do not list item in bug if you are not sure about if your listing gets viral or not because it's really dangerous it's just not one item two item but it's a ton of items that's why you need to take every listing that has potential to get violations to avoid the suspension. You can apply my first methods and I explained that you can do it manually. And the second one, you can use automation success like Zig Analytics. It is awesome tools and I have many times mentioned in my video. And I also the Vero Checker. So I also give you some details now. And moving on to the second tip, I want to show you if Vero Checker is actually cost 1 euro 49 euro per month. It's nearly 1.99 dollar and you can download the Vero Checker into your Chrome extension. So every time if you want to check anything and they will appear in the Chrome extension and you just click on it and the, put the name of the branch and they will check it for you if it's actually have the violations or maybe you need to remove it from your list so it's also really useful but as I said it costs money but for me it's more easier when you can check manually so for some person he will have a lot of listings so that's why this is really hard to check manually so sometimes you can use AutoDS or maybe you can use Zig Analytics to find the viral listing is also fine 
for automation so I also recommend that you guys can check it out for your own because it also costs money and for automation it will save your time and maybe you don't need to worry about uh, violations in the future anymore so this is for today guys just let me know by commenting in the comment section and I will answer everything for you guys so that is for today's guy I hope you guys have a wonderful day if you guys feel this video have value to you just give me a like and subscribe to my channel to see more about the content and see you next time